Ping 2.0 was a feature that many, including myself, was super excited for after seeing it first teased in the 6th Invitational back in February. The actual implementation, however, failed in its original intent and arguably made communication even more confusing and convoluted at both high and low level play. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what elements were successful and what needs to be reverted in order for Siege to end up in a better state. The season of Shadow Legacy tried to shake things up quite a bit. They added new scopes, a new sensitivity system, and Ping 2.0. Ping 2.0 was supposed to be a fresh take on communication in Siege. Now, before I break down the pros and cons of my general thoughts, let's separate the parts of the camera and drone system so I can reference them to be understood properly. The old system had one interactable part to it. It was the scan system, or the red ping. This is still available on all cameras, and it's when you hold down the enemy scan key, which is by default the X key. When an enemy player is scanned, they get a notification of so. And therefore, there is a little bit of a back and forth between when to scan and when not to. Now, if you were in a player's perspective, you've had the ability to place a yellow ping onto any area that you are targeting. This is done with the Z key by default. This type of ping was only for your team to see, and the enemy team would be unaware of your pinging location. In the Ping 2.0 system, they introduced two separate functionalities. They added the contextual ping system, which is where if you press Z while targeting any type of utility around the map, such as shields, traps, barbed wires, etc., it will indicate its location to your team with an icon of that specific utility item. The second functionality is the addition of the yellow Z ping system to all drones and cameras. This includes Yana's hologram. This mimics the ping system of all players being able to place a yellow ping anywhere that the camera or drone can target without the opposing team being aware. All right, now with the explanation out of the way, I wanna say that before I get into the heavy criticism, that if they simply kept their original design of the contextual ping system, I'd be completely stoked about the changes. But I will go into more detail shortly as I believe the yellow ping system creates more issues than it solves and should be removed as soon as humanly possible. So when introduced, this is what the lead game designer, Sean Baptiste, had to say about the ping 2.0 system. Uh, we want to give you more communication tools and by doing that, we're also trying to uh, give you more ways to uh, have an impact as an attacker during the preparation phase by spotting things in advance and sharing that information with your teammates. This was a simple yet clear indication of exactly what functionality we received with the contextual ping of the ping 2.0 system. In this regard, the end result was universally liked. I have yet to speak to anyone who disliked the contextual ping, and I believe it should be kept as is. It was revealed after the season launched in an interview that the yellow ping system was added later on in the project's development cycle, stating that since they were adding the contextual ping, it felt like the next logical step and it's meant to assist new players to be able to communicate accurately without memorizing all the maps and callouts like top players do. While I understand and agree that Siege is a complex and intimidating game to get into, especially five years into its launch, but I believe this attempt actually made it more frustrating to understand and react to teammates' calls. Let me explain by showing you a recent example from a match. Front, we're going up, maps. Brother, on hash. What? Well, found a bomb. You must you defend going? it. Z ping. Z ping. Since, bro. Where's Z? I can't. I don't know what that is. Speak. Speak. Uh, speak. Dust, Short, quick example showing that in the confusion of me being Sophia charged and multiple people going going through callouts and multiple pings being tossed out around the map, that call of Z ping meant nothing to me. And this is what I'm finding more and more in my rounds is people are relying on the term and location of this Z ping because they can see it, not taking into context what's going on the rest of the map and the location of where your teammates are actually looking. Making your teammates move away from the lines or the angles that they're holding to look around for this little yellow ping on the floor. In this situation, would have been so much more easy and efficient if you would, would have simply said circle desk. All of that, all that chaos that went on could simply be summarized Circle desk, circle desk. I'm using this example specifically because this isn't a random player to me. This is one of my best friends who I've known for almost two decades, and he gives callouts better than anyone I've ever played with. With the introduction of this yellow ping system, people who typically give clear, concise calls, myself included, are falling into traps and ended up providing less intel than if they simply would have called out the specific area the enemy player is standing near. In a solo queue environment, you're just going to see a barrage of yellow pings from non-talking dead players with no context, 
and will make sorting through intel even harder than if they didn't do anything at all. Nothing in this game will replace callouts, and I'm aware that people could adapt to combine callouts plus pings for more accurate information, such as in this example, circle desk five, indicating both a ping is available as well as a location to be aware of, but it's highly unlikely that majority of players will be able to adapt in that situation. So currently we have a system that only benefits people who already know the callouts without any help or benefit to do players creating frustration for mostly everyone. On top of that, they still have the other major topic that which has been talked to death on Twitter, which is dying to these invisible pings through walls, floors, or barricades. This next clip shows off how a player stands no chance if there's a hidden camera anywhere in his vicinity. In this case, the echo drone being above him. He's holding a relatively decent angle, but it becomes deadly once my simple, although terrible, on ping call is relayed. A teammate was able to pre-fire a spot accurately. Not a general position having to adjust the scope and understand how the map is laid out. Nope, just shoot head level right above the yellow ping. Dead. One friendly oh shit, shit. white. Uh, no, no, not white uh... Yes, 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 ping, on ping, on ping, on ping. Hold, it, hold it on ping, hold the angle. Nice. Just defuse. What I don't understand is we've had this great balance with the red ping system. It requires coordination to ping and wall bang someone. If you ping too soon, the enemy is alerted and will move. Now the enemy has no idea they're being pinged and simply await their death oblivious to the fact. But the main point that I wanna drive home is this is not only that it's OP, but it's not even satisfying. I feel lame when I assist a teammate to ping someone who basically can't fight back. At minimum, I want the enemy to be alerted if a ping is anywhere near him. These type of changes need to come and they need to come soon because right now this season, on top of all the other issues it has, which is topic for another video, makes this season feel deflated as it should have been a massive W for Ubisoft instead of the partial L that it has been. Those are my thoughts and opinions on the Ping 2.0 system. If you want to ask me any questions directly, I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash jpz, or you can join the Discord. Links for both in the description down below. I hope we see some changes in the system so Siege can be as good as we all know it can be. And as always, my name is jpz. Take it easy.